just got home and it's about four o'clock. Six o'clock I will meet my friend, the one I came here for and it's a very very funny story. In a minute I will show you what I, what I bought in the shop uh, but before I want to tell you <laughs> a very 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 funny story. I have no internet in the house so I went to the Starbucks to have a coffee well, I added an apple cake as well, apple strudel. So I had a coffee and a cake and obviously I used and abused their internet, free Wi-Fi. I called my friend, he did not pick it up. I sent him a message, he read the message after an hour. Well, if you, if you want to be precise, 45 to 50 minutes. He read it and it was on messenger so I saw halfway through he was active but somehow he didn't read the messages or something anyway finally I could call him I called him twice and then he called me back and I said okay man I am here this is the second day that we should be working on your business your digital platform and still nothing and you organized me a flat without the internet, so this is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> and he said, no, 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 there are no flats, no places without internet. And I said, yes. I think on the whole planet there is one place where there is no internet access and that is the flat you organized for me. So this is just, just wonderful. So I was sitting in a Starbucks, the coffee was actually, actually very, very good. It was better than in any other countries I used to live. And, well, we were talking and I said, when can we actually meet? You know, when I was asking it, I used slightly different tone of voice. And obviously I kind of meant that uh, we should be meeting right now. So he should be in a rush getting here to the Starbucks in this shopping center called Arcade. Where actually this is south part of Hungary. I never really been here before. That's my first time. That's my second day here. And I was surprised to see that there is actually a queue to Starbucks. And the whole shopping center was quite quite busy. It was even busier than in the capital where there is a shopping center under the same name. And in the capital actually it's less busy for some reason. The temperature is crazy hot, very, very hot. We never had this kind of uh, temperature in London and actually we never had this kind of temperature here in Hungary either. This is a record. I think every single year we break the record as, you know, climate is changing and all that. So I was sitting in a Starbucks in a corner where my back at the wall, I could see everyone, you know, next to the glass window I could see the people you know walking by and it's inside the shopping center so I could see the people there are lots of students here lots of young people lots of elders as well they uh, taking good care of themselves and everyone looks very uh, and and very 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 cool I like it here there is absolutely no problem with the people they are great and I think it's a little bit better than the capital I feel I think it was a very good choice to come here. What was not good choice, what was actually carelessness, that I have no internet and this is the second day and obviously there will be other days without internet before I could get one. So back to the Starbucks, back to the coffee, back, back to the apple cake. I'm talking, on my, talking with my friend on Messenger and he was saying that, oh, maybe we can meet tomorrow. And it's, it felt like the whole world stopped, paused for a second. I said, what, what, what do you mean? What time you finish today? And he said, that, oh, I, I finish uh, quite early today, but I need to edit a podcast. And I'm like, well, what, what podcast? What is more important than me, than meeting me? You know, I basically took an unpaid leave to come here to help you build a business. Well, obviously there is some opportunity there because if uh, this will go well, I will have a job. A job which I really like and I've been, you know, preparing for, dreaming of for, for a while, for a very long time actually. 
and and he was like rrr, 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 talking for like about 10 minutes then finally i could make him come here today at six he even complained that he needs to walk i don't know how many minutes to get here i said you know be happy because if we are in new york where i live before you you should be i don't know in, in a car and drive four hours and things like that because in the u.s you have much bigger distances than here unbelievable but in the same time i hate him but in the same time i really love him because you know what he said let me repeat that for you he said that he can't come today only come he can come only tomorrow morning because he needs to edit a podcast and the podcast is with actually well our enemy basically another company that does the same thing it's uh, another one-man show but uh, you know we competing in the same field and he made a podcast with him so i think it's a, it's a very generous thing to do uh, so mixed feelings today as well it's very hot i went went for shopping i still i still don't want to use the fridge so i didn't even plug it in and uh, that's why when i was looking for beer <laughs> i bought the one that was in the fridge <laughs> oh my god that is a colossal waste of energy as well you know basically you put the mm, beer there and it's there 24 hours seven days a week just for people like me to buy it who doesn't use a fridge or wanna drink it cold straight away in the park well, anyway, I bought it and then I went for some cultural program. There is a church here that was um, sometime turned into the mosque, then turned into back to a Catholic church. So I paid the ticket, which was, I don't remember now, three or four English British pounds. So I went in. Uh, oh yeah that was quite great because they uh, they asked me if i'm a student so i looked at the adult prices and the student prices and there were actually quite a big difference anyway i went in and it was a very interesting experience you know it was the same thing before they shut down the whole <laughs> the whole world they closed the uh, the borders the, one of my last trips was to Greece to see the Parthenon and you know a very similar thing happened to the Parthenon first obviously the Greek people and then the other people and then other people came and then someone used the Parthenon as a warehouse and they stored you know things in it that eventually blew up that's why it looks like how it looks the, and you know this is just history and I went there and it has i don't at the more i don't know but it could be more than 700 years of history just right there you know the political changes over the time and i could i could really feel that because obviously now we have this and and i just changed a job as well completely different completely different thing i do now what i did two years ago or even even a year ago completely different and now I changed again and I came here because I heard the call so today six o'clock hopefully